Well, hi guys, Mark here. Welcome along again today to Pool Moto here in the south of England. And today we're taking out the Benelli TNT 125. Stay tuned and I'll give you my thoughts on it. Well hey there guys, Mark here and welcome today to a review on the Benelli TNT 125. So let's take a look around this lovely bike and again kindly known to me by Paul Moto here in the south of England. So we just run through the specifications in the usual way. So these are coming in at a very very wallet friendly £2,399 plus the on the road charges. They have a 125cc air and oil cooled. It's got an oil cooler up in there. Four valve twin spark engine producing 11.1 .1 horsepower at 9,500 RPM. And torque is 10 Newton meters at 7,000 RPM. Got a five speed, very smooth shifting gearbox on these. We'll talk about a bit more of that when we ride it later. Now, one of the lovely things about this pint sized little pocket rocket is it's a nice low seat height, 780 millimeter seat height on that. So, um, just take a look at me on the bike. I'm 5'7 tall with a 30 inch inside leg and weigh about 75 kilos, just so you can see how I fit the bike and you can compare that to yourself. Tires on these, we've got a 120 section on the front, 12 inch wheels on these with cordial tires, and we have a 130 section on the rear, again 12 inch wheels. We have CBS braking, combined braking system on these, no ABS, so what that means is when you put the back brake on, it puts the front brake on as well, and I find it works really well. Quite a small fuel tank on this, being a physically small bike, 7.2 litres, but these will do well over 100 to the gallon with normal sort of use, so you should get a range of up to about 150 miles. Do you like the way they've blended in the uh, indicators here? So it's, it's all LEDs on this, LED lights, LED indicators. 124 kilos wet weight. So nice and light. If you're a newcomer coming to into biking, this would be absolutely superb. So this is sort of squarely focused at say the Honda Grom MSX125, but it undercuts it by a big chunk of money. We have upside down forks on the front here with 120 mil of travel, single disc on the front single disc on the rear and we have a rear preload adjustable shotgun there with 50 mil of travel these come with a two-year warranty and they come in some very nice colors we've got this white one we've got a lovely green 
a black and red one or a red one. All right, guys, let's do the test ride. Okay, guys, Benelli TNT 125, also known as the Tornado. Let's do this. God, I'm really looking forward to this. I've been wanting to ride one of these for many, many years now. So, uh, well, the first thing you notice when you sit on it is absolutely how, how diminutive it is, how small it is. Um, it's absolutely tiny, and it just feels there's virtually nothing there. But that's, that's a really good thing. Um, if you're a newcomer to biking, um, you know, it's going to inspire confidence for, straight from the off. So when you sit on it, obviously I'm not tall. My feet are flat to the floor with my knees bent, so I can easily get my legs down. So that's absolutely fantastic. Um, nice sort of bars, sort of width apart, quite a comfy seat, we'll try that in a bit. Um, all the switch gear, it's all the sort of standard sort of issue thing that you see on these Chinese bikes these days. You've got your pass flasher there, headlights high and low, indicators and horn. Over here you've got your starter, your hazards and your engine kill switch. Um, clutch cable operated, a non-adjustable four span front brake lever. Let's have a look at the dash, that looks very nice. You've got your standard analog rev counter, engine management light, neutral indicators. You've got your flasher there, You've got your speedo, which can be put into miles an hour, kilometers an hour, fuel gauge, clock, and your trip. Uh, unfortunately, no gear indicator on this, that's a shame, but uh, hey ho. And um, that's it really, so we're the starter up. So straight away, settles into a really nice single cylinder little thump. And I have to say, actually, really does sound pretty good even with the standard exhaust so let's do this very very easily into first gear and a very very light easy clutch so that's a good start right so we'll just start off in a in a 30 mile an hour sort of a city town environment because that's where this bike's going to be spending a lot of its time i expect commuting to work or whatever and um currently in fourth gear showing an indicated 30 mile an hour and the engine is just purring along very sweetly just over 5,000 rpm virtually no vibes at all through the bars the seat or the pegs at the moment we'll try it later on at higher speeds but that feels really nice just checking the fueling now which is obviously fuel injected this bike just going to check for any surging or any irregularities in the fueling which you can get on these Euro 5 bikes and that is absolutely perfect there's no surging or sort of hunting that you can feel in the uh, in the fueling there so that's spot on mirrors very clear see about 50 percent of my elbows let's try and adjust them a little bit now it's about the same so yeah all in all very good mirrors nice and clear no buzzing through them so that's all fine front brake feels good and obviously the uh, the CBS coming on from the rear combined braking system it works excellently. So I'm just opening it up a bit now. Oh, it pulls really cleanly through the gears. It's got it into top gear now. Pull very happy in top gear at about 30 miles an hour. Riding position, just slightly, slightly leaning forwards, I would say. But all in all, very comfortable position for doing some commuting on. You can rake the handlebars back by undoing these bolts here. So if you needed to bring it back a little bit, that would be fine. But nice, nice uh, commanding position. Lots of control. I mean, the bike is so small and so light, it just changes direction absolutely instantly. So that's, that's great. Do like the very clear dash. It's all very nice to be able to see the, uh, the speedo and the gears going down the gearbox now very very light gearbox very positive snicks into gear very happily god isn't it fun around the corners i see what they mean now about these little bikes being so much fun yeah this really is a whole barrel of fun wow <laughs> tires feel pretty grippy take it steady because they're quite new tires so we're out on the open road now. Let's try out the uh, Benelli TNT 125. So we're currently in top gear. Just uh, cruising along about an indicated 50 miles an hour. Just taking it steady. Please report, not 
no sort of nasty vibes really coming through the uh, seat, the bars or the pegs. It's generally a very smooth air cooled 125. Just dropping it down to fourth now to get up this hill a bit. Top speed on this is around about 60 miles an hour. Probably should probably show about 65 on the uh, speedo, but it's going to be about 60 miles an hour true speed. So as I said earlier, riding position is very upright. I've been on this bike now for about half an hour. Seat feels nicely padded. It's quite pretty really comfortable. I think you could easily do a couple of hours on this, no problem. Right, we're just trying to brake a sec, nothing behind. So fast front and rear together, combining the uh, CBS. So they're nice and strong. So the little engine is uh, very keen, free revving. It does make a very good little roar from the exhaust. Suspension on the front, non-adjustable. We've got a preload adjustable on the rear. Feels very compliant. Rear, rear suspension feels a little bit on the firm side, but not, not in a bad way, in a small of a sporty sense, really. So it's, it's a small bike. I'm only a small guy, five foot seven. And my knees are tucked into the tank nicely. I think if you were sort of about 5'10", you'd still be alright on this. But I think if you were 6 foot, you might find this bike a little bit small for you. You'd still be able to ride it okay, but it would be a little bit small for you. So maybe I, ideal for sort of riders up to about 5'10", maybe 175 centimetres. And uh, definitely a, a good bike if you're a lot smaller than me. Say you're 5'2", five 5'3", five I think that would be really good for you. So all in all, I've... Um, been very pleasantly surprised with the little Benelli 125. It rides very well and then considering its price it's, it's an utter bargain. It's a, an absolute barrel of fun, a whole load of laughs, it really is. It's light, fun, cheap to run, handles nicely, very very easy to ride and considering it's very small with the little wheels it actually really goes well over all the bumps and everything it doesn't the suspension doesn't crash over bumps and things like that happily cruises along at about 50 miles an hour with a bit more to give so it's not really a bike you'd probably take on dual carriageways on a regular basis um, but for sort of country roads like this riding to work through town absolutely brilliant first class I mean, round the bends like this, it's just, it's just so light and so much fun. A, a final thoughts and a little walk around then. We'll just wrap it up here. All the switch gears, nice and easy to use. Very tactile. Yeah, brakes are good. I like the brakes. Gearbox is super light. Just the job. Right, we'll just see what it goes into first like. So there's your first, neutral, first, neutral. That's really easy. That's good. Let's give you a little look at that lovely little dash. A little sound check. So, side stand, nice and easy to find with your heel looks pretty decent so no center stand on this unfortunately all right let's see what it's like to push around this is probably going to be the easiest bike I've ever done this to <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's like pushing a bicycle <laughs> and what a turning circle <laughs> so that's super easy to push around you know this is you know you may well be buying this if you're completely new to biking and uh, this would be a fantastic bike for that. It's cheap. It looks great in my opinion. Um, and it's just, just basically a fun little bike. It's very, very cool. Well, let's, let's have a nice detailed walk around this bike because there's some really nice touches on this. So LEDs, really nice. Main light indicators. Pretty decent grippy tyres here. You've got the combined braking system, CBS, the rear operates the front and the rear 
nice little touch they put an oil cooler in there all the general build quality quality of the paint looks very nice frame looks good so this engine's got a twin spark in it so it obviously gives it a bit more combustion efficiency there's your sight glass for your oil it's nice that you've got the twin outlet exhaust there I think one of the one of the mods they do is there's like a, a link pipe which gets rid of this uh, box silencer box underneath there so it kind of goes straight through to make it a bit, bit of a better sound I mean all this is really nice the way the indicators are blended in a lot of people do away with this number plate hanger and they'll put the number plate sort of where my fingers are there now on those bolts so that's another option you can do obviously it's five speed gearbox chain drive it all looks really really good so I've had a little look under the seat I'm not expecting much storage under here so no nothing at all really there's a tiny bit under there but again you've got to have an allen key to take that off so a tiny little bit of space under there you might be able to put a lock or something like that But no, the general build quality looks looks very nice. It's a really good looking little bike. So fuel cap which removes is not hinged. Pretty easy to use. That's good. Well there you go guys, Benelli TNT125. What a little cracker that is. Please post your comments down below. Give me a like, share and subscribe to my channel. And I will catch you again in another week or so for another review. Ride safe guys, all the best, and bye for now.